What's up, everybody? What's up, everybody? Ghetto Garage. We're back uh, right now. What's up, guys? We're on our way to Northern Tools and Equipment. Sorry for the shaky camera. Right now, we're waiting in traffic. Yeah, uh, Texas is closed to everyone. For if y'all don't know, it's all the traffic we gotta wait in. Just wait. We ain't even on the main road yet. We're like main highway. Yeah, we're we're on the entrance ramp. But yeah, Texas is closed. But uh, yeah, we're heading to Northern Tools and Equipment for our next build, uh, which is gonna be a go kart. Um, we're gonna go pick up some parts that we know for sure that we need um, And then when we get back to the shop, we'll show you other things, but uh for right now We just go on drive and uh, we'll see you at northern tools and equipment All right guys, so we're pulling up at northern tools Here it is. Funny story. We actually missed the exit recording our uh, intro So uh, <laughs> it took us a little bit long, but uh, we made it here so now let's, let's get in and uh, let's see. Hopefully, it has the parts we're looking for, and maybe we can actually pick up what we need to finish out or start and complete this build. It shouldn't be a tough build, but we'll try to complete it today. All right, guys. So we're out here, and uh, I think we're gonna pick up this wrench. I just want it because we might need it. Oh wow! Just one of them. That's crazy. Two inches and 38, I'm guessing. But we like coming in tool stores and just messing around. Like, really? Do we need this? I mean, I like it. Do we need it? It's, it's convenient, and you know what they say, the most convenient things are always worth it. We uh, don't even know where we're going in um, here. We're actually, just looking at it. one thing I am gonna try to look for is an air chuck for the, for the shop. Don't we have like 90 of them? I mean, we do have a couple, but... Do we need new tool bags? Maybe. Uh, Maybe while we're at it, we should just buy a new compressor. I mean, some would do a say you can't go wrong with that. I need all of this stuff. Perfect. You know, if, if someone wants to be a really great friend and viewer to us and just buy us everything on this rack here, yeah. we'd greatly appreciate it. We totally need it. Why not? Uh, what is this? This is an air impact. A three quarter inch air impact, right? Yeah, so we definitely need that. You know, NASCAR pit stop out here. What, what but alright guys, we're gonna make our way to the engine parts and uh, we'll see you when we get over there. Alright guys, we got what we needed uh, out of Northern Tool. Now we're on our way to go pick up the go-kart at our friend's house. And uh, yeah, then we're gonna start getting to tearing it apart and seeing what we need and other parts that we need. See y'all in a bit. No, he thought he was strong enough, so. We're going to get this back. See, we already kind of did a ghetto frame a couple years ago, but we're going to finish it out now. Uh, we're going to take this back to the shop. We're going to strip it down, see what parts we need, and uh, yeah, catch y'all at the shop. All right, guys, so we're back at the shop. Luis is going to see if he can get it started because uh, it doesn't have a pull thing, so he's going to just use wire. He also broke our seat because he stepped on it as hard as he can. And uh, also, while we were opening up the shop, uh, I kind of got stung by a wasp. If you can see it, kind of hurt. So I don't know why, but everything bad keeps happening to me. Like I cut myself in the last video, and now I'm getting stung by wasps. But we're gonna try to see if we can get this thing started. All right, guys. So we weren't able to get it started, but uh, that just means we just gotta work with what we got. Um, we're gonna go back to the house get up on Amazon and start ordering parts so we can get more videos out for you. I'll see you later guys. We're all gonna try to get, uh, we actually have a thing going on behind camera where we're saying whoever can build the quickest go-kart, uh, Dylan says that he can make something out of this. Personally speaking, I already got my go-kart built over there. You wanna show him? All right, no, that's cheap. What I ain't gonna do is I'm, I got something up my sleeve. I ain't gonna let y'all know yet, but watch out in the next video, y'all see it.